Well, class, we'll put some of our words that we learned earlier in our notebook. Um, before we open to a page, think about the word reach. Which E do we use in reach class? Well, I have to use my arm to reach. And when I've reached out my arm a little bit, it kind of reminds me of the phonogram E, E, A, because my hand, my elbow, and my shoulder kind of make that V, just like my fingers do when I'm remembering E, E, A. So class, which E do I use in reach? Excellent, E, E, A. Let's open to our E's page. We've got 78 and 79. And before we write reach in, let's just go ahead and review our different E's. All right, class, what's this one? Good, E, A, A. What's this one? Good, E, double E. Always says E. How about this one? Good, Y, I, E. How about this one? Good, I, E. Oh, let's see if we remember this from Friday. Remember, these are one of our vowel pairs with the Y and I. This one has two sounds. All right, this one says, this one is A-E that we, good, A-E that we do use at the end of English words. That means this one is what? Good, A-E that we do not use at the end of English words. All right, so put your finger on the column where we're going to write reach. I hope you've got it right here. This is our E A. -A. All right, go ahead and write the sounds and say them while you write them. And then do the markings. E. And then remember for ch, we need two letters. And then that phonogram actually has three sounds. We all remember the first one. Sometimes we forget the other ones. All right, let's read our word class. Good, reach. All right, now we had some words that had an I sound in them. So we'll go to our next page, which is 80 and 81. This is where we've got our different ways we can make the I sound in English. All right, let's go over the different I's we have, the ways we can make the I sound in English. Um, and all these pages, of course, leave out um, an open syllable, but we know there's one more way, which is an open syllable. All right, what's this one? All right, so this is our IE with a silent final E job one. Hmm, we've got the same one here. We'll come back to that in just a second. Oh, what's this one? This one we haven't done too much. I wanted to talk about it last week, but I ran out of time. This one is, remember there's three ways our vowels can say their name. With a silent final E in an open syllable, those are for all our vowels. The last way is just for I and O. If you remember that one, say it with me. I and O may say I and O when followed by two consonants. All right, how about this one? What's this one? Good, I, three, letter I. How about this one? Good, ya, and I, E. And how about this one? Remember, this one is E-I. We say E-I, but we write I-E. All right, so these are our different ways to make the I sound in English. Now, I'm wondering if anyone can tell me, why do you think we have two columns for our I-E with a silent final E job one? And everything else only, there's only one column to put the words in. You know, um, 
I'm wondering if anyone said there must be a lot more words that have this. Did anyone say that? If you did, great job. The reason that we have two columns for our it, i.e. with silent final e job one is that is by far the most common way that we make the i sound in English. So we need a lot more spaces to be able to write in words there. All right. So our, in the word tire, like what you have on your bicycle or your parents have on their cars, which I do we use in tire? Good, it's our most common one. It's it, i.e. with a silent final e job one. So go down to your next free line in that first column. Write tire, say the sounds while you write them and then mark it. So t, i, r, silent final e job one. All right, let's read our word. All right, and we want to make sure, at least for spelling purposes, we're saying tire. All right, in the word wire, which I do we use in that word bar? Right, it's the same one. It's our most common one, it, I, E, with a silent final E job one. So go to the next line and go ahead and write wire and mark it. And say the sounds while you write them. W I R silent final E job one. And then of course we mark starting at the beginning, we mark the whole word in order. Don't just underline that silent final E. All right, so those were our words that had the I sound in it in today's words. The last one, all right, before we do our last word that we're going to put in the back here, the word is interest. How do we, it's a two-way word, how do we say it to spell it? Good, we say interest. So you might notice when I say interest, that's two syllables. We've got to make sure we've got three syllables in there, in, ter, est, to spell it correctly. All right, that has an er in it, so we know we'll go to, or we'll go to our ers page, which is 74 and 75. All right, let's quickly review our ers while we're on this page. Good, er, the er of her. Or the year of hurt. Or the year of bird. Good. Or, or the year of worms. Good. And good. Or the year of early. All right. Class, which one do we use in interest? All right. Look, just with our eyes, we've got two columns for or the year of her. And just one for everything else. So we know this one's going to be a lot more common than the others. And it is, in fact, earlier of her that we use in interest. So go to your next free line there. All right, class, what's our first syllable? Good, in. Say the sounds while you write it. Don't forget your syllable break. What's your second syllable? Good, ter. Say the sounds while you write them. And which er are you using? Say earlier of her, of course. And what's the third syllable? Good, est. All right, say the sounds while you write them, then go back and mark it. In, ter, est. All right, I know I need to underline this. Since it's a two-way word, I also have a thinking cap that I need to put in. Where does my thinking cap go, class? Good, it goes on my er. 
All right. Nice work reviewing these words today, class. I will see you in our next video.